I don't think Salem's liquid anymore. Yeah, Salem's, Salem's, I don't think Salem's, Salem's liquid. Not liquid he's anymore. not liquid he's, anymore. He's free agent. Or MVG. He's yeah. MVG. He's, yeah, he's MVG Salem. But, um, no, yeah, I agree. You know, ladies and gentlemen in the chat, for those of you guys who don't know, this is a lot of, uh, this is a lot of history you're looking at. Obviously, Nico's been around, like you said, towards the tail end of Brawl. Had a really good uh, showing in Smash 4. Obviously, looking to carry that over here at Smash Ultimate. But the same could be said for Salem, too. This is the Apex champion you're looking at. Evo, Evo champion. Evo 2017. This isn't just any old Evo. This Evo was on TV, ladies and gentlemen. This was, this was Disney Evo. Okay? Did you know that Salem only won a single Brawl tournament, and that was that Apex? Are you serious? He never won a local because his local was like... The Northeast, it was uh, like, oh. it was Tri-State, which had like Nairo, ADHD, the Cat, and Mewtwo King. The Bing. kill, yes, Like, yeah, it was yes. insane. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, enough about some. Brawl. This, you know, we have Snake, but it's Ultimate. Yeah, so saw that, like, the grenade was on the floor, and Shulk's back air still hit it, and led to 54%, 71, Salem being combination of aggressive and defensive when he has to be. One of probably the better, uh, I mean, definitely one of the better Snakes. He got, uh, I think, fifth at uh, Pound. I believe he beat Leo, yes, so. Yes, yes. Because Leo got put in the losers. Oh, there's yeah. the up air. Probably That's looking to eat up the shield a little bit. No surprise there. He's also switched over into the bus, so he's kind of looking to get uh, like a two for one. Yeah, and Salem loves that platform. So again, Town of City is actually a really good stage for Salem because uh -huh. he can camp on the platform, and then the minute he gets a hit or someone extends into him, uh, he's just going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, now this is where we're going to start to see Nico kind of come alive a little bit. Most, more times not, you see Shulk switch over to that speed art. They're going to try to dance around you. They're going to try to cross over with aerials. Ooh. They're going to try to take you from one end of the stage to another, which on a character like Snake can be very detrimental to his uh, percent. Yeah, but, but Snake the doesn't want to be off stage like that. At the same time, it's so hard because Shulk has a lot of like two-piece kind of hits like in strings because he can cover multiple options because of his giant sword. But if Snake just hits the B button, uh, then you're not going to be able to do that. Like, That's true. Uh, nothing in Smash will knock him out of Cypher, which is a pretty, like, it's difficult to edge guard Snake. This Nikita is going to be so detrimental. Oh, nice air dodge back to the platform with Nico. But again, he has to waste that jump art. Now he doesn't have it for mobility later or any offense. He has such a mountain to climb here. Switching over into shield art, very smart, but he's, it only lasts for so long. And as you see, that should do it. The down throw right into the up air. Or up 160%, baby. That's right. That is confirmed. Yeah, I don't know if Shulk is uh, wide enough on the ground to get uh, down throw F tilted at 126, but uh, he might. I don't actually know. But again, like this lead, and now when Snake has a lead, he doesn't have to approach. He just uses grenades, and he, you know, can anti air with dash attack if he wants, but just like pull, hit that B button, and Shulk loses so many options. Oh, the grenades oh are up tilt. That's so beefy. That uh -huh. damage is so much. Salem just really just coming in really hot right now. You know, like we talked about, he's one of the few players that can switch from like that aggressive to defensive play start to drop of a hat. Yeah. And right now, man, he's just kind of setting up shop and just letting them know like this this stage belongs to me. Like, yeah. It's so hard for Shulk to kind of move about and really find those access points on Snake. As you see right there, I mean, Ooh. Salem just being fearless, running right through, gets the parry, gets the forward two. Yeah, and Snake actually with pretty fast hitboxes. I mean, down air frame three, back air frame, I think six or seven. Uh, so you're actually going to be content with Shulk in the air because Shulk's fastest uh, aerial is what, like, there at frame like 13. He has Uppy, which is frame 10, which is pretty good. Ooh, that up smash yeah, is going to be so strong. It got nerfed, oh. by the way, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, Aha. right. Now yeah. it's still one of his best moves instead of like... The best. Well, Nikita's still his best move, but... You think Nikita's the best Nikita's move? the best move in the game, IMO. Oh, but that up tilt gonna close that stock out super clean. I don't exactly know how he did that. I'm really sad no one got that in charades. <laughs> But, yeah, so the up smash is going to land. It's, it's so hard for the Shulk to move around and do anything, because if he wants to move fast, then grenades have it. If he wants to move slow, then he's not going to catch the snake that's throwing grenades. Just every avenue of this matchup seems to be covered, at least slightly advantageously for Snake. Yeah, and even if Salem does switch, uh, excuse me, I say, even if Nico does switch over to, like, Shield, I mean, history has shown that Salem doesn't mind the up close and personal game, too. I think Snake Or just running away because running he's so slow. Yeah, running away because he's so slow. Oh, just the parry. He gets the down tilt, lets him off the hook. He wants to reset up Shocker. Now he has the oh, grenade. That hit? Gets right up underneath him with the up tilt. Salem. That hit? Yeah, that hit. He man. was on the other side, I guess, because like the beginning of his nair, like his his hand was like behind him, I guess. But yeah, just that matchup every turn just looked super rough for uh, Nico. And you know, Salem, like not saying like, oh, Salem's playing it like whatever because the matchup's that bad. Because like, no, Salem's playing it very well. <laughs> but you know, you expect that from Salem at this point. Again, has multiple top eights has multiple big wins in this game, uh, and he's just, he's gonna play well, and so you go, oh, how do I play against a snake that's really good? And SoCal has a few, but none to the level of Salem. Yeah, you know, I think uh, when Salem and the gang came over for Nimbus, that was probably like some of the nicest snake play I've seen on SoCal soil, you know, today. You know what I did to him? 
What'd you do to him, Nissan? Talk, <laughs> we'll talk to him. We'll talk about it later. Talk man. to him, baby. Anyway, gonna go to Kalos. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting stage pick because I think Snake having all that room is gonna be really advantageous for him and still taking 41 even after the switch to Shield Art midway through that combo. That's crazy. Oh, that backer to 26 because of Buster. Oh my god. Oh, he's 80. Oh. oh my god. Okay, he's back off to the ledge and does it. You know, Salem pretty good historically at punishing uh, neutral get up off the ledge, kind of letting him off the hook. It kind of looked like he uh, he, he kind of got off the stage, but he was behind him, so he wasn't quite able to find that grab he was looking for. But nonetheless, though, man, even if he couldn't get the grab, man, the fact that he's setting up shop like this, he has the grenades online, and he's making it very hard here for Nico to find any openings. And again, you see Salem still going for these air dodges and these jumps uh, in, like, pressure situations or when Nico hits him, and he can literally just be pulling grenade. And like it's like Nico will get hit by that grenade unless he really doesn't want to get hit both of them. But also he's winning, so he'll be like plus in frames. Oh, down around the shield, interesting choice. Yeah, he did that in the last game versus Muffet from Mars, and I thought oh, it was yeah. like I kind of thought it was a misinfo, but now I see the, the utilization of it. And I like this though. We're trying to see a different pace, Nico right here. He's keeping oh. this thing close from in proximity, but don't get too close there, Salem. That turnaround forward tilt does wonders in the Smash Heart. Wonderful stuff. Yeah. And though I guess I guess the stage is kind of working out for him because also it is similar to FD, and I feel like Snake sometimes can't land on FD, right? Yeah. Uh, so I guess he's getting a lot of damage off of these. Uh, oh, that didn't kill at 144. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay, just did it. easy yeah. come, easy go. Wonderful stuff right there. Okay, there is a C4 up underneath the platform. From yeah, right mistaken. to the right. It's yeah. to the left of it. It's right, right where they're shielding. Yeah. Back there. I think it's going to... I was literally going to say, I'm pretty sure it's about to blow up my time. Yeah. Uh, and it did that. And that took 27 from Nico because Seymour, I think, was like 22 yeah. by itself or something like that. And there, in Smash, are going to send him all the way across the stage. But because... You are so, like, there's not that much time in Smash Art. He literally only has one or two opportunities, especially the Snake is going to be able to up the all the way above the stage and just, like, drop slowly. Again, another C4. Oh, my. Nico's got hit by, like, four moves, and two of them are C4 this stock. Man, and while let's look at Salem, he's slowly but surely bringing this thing back. Gets the immediate dare right out of shield. Some smart options there up close and personal. He knows that because Nico's so much longer than him physically. Oh, that he can double grenade. Into the Cypher, too. Oh, oh, my goodness. And right off the Cypher, he goes into the back here. Wonderful stuff right here. This is a complete turn around here from Nico, so I'm really excited to see how long he can hold on to this lead. Especially yeah, he's trying to milk this stock. Yeah, he has to play really passive right now, but again, you can't play too passive versus Snakes because he has that those amazing projectiles and grenade, Nikita, up smash, you know, C4, like all those type of things. He can eventually start like making it you move the way he wants to. And with that Nikita, especially oh crashing to the stage to try to two frame, okay, but you know, it's gonna just run down, but you know whatever. Oh, okay, cross him up with the dash attack, gets the parry Bye -bye. up till see ya. Why is that a thing? Like, I don't get it. Like, why would they just, why would they not just make it like frame zero on like all down throw? I don't get it. Up throw, up tilt. Nope, Salem gonna jump out of that pressure. Did not want to take that extra grenade damage since he is on last dog. C4 gonna be shielded, but right into that neutral air. Not gonna switch into shield art fast enough, but going to finally get it a neutral win is Nico. Another nair fair, not gonna land its mark. Salem, really good DI. Okay, gets another back here, and again, like you said before, those aerials that Soul has, you know, it could be a cursing and a blessing here in this matchup because of the uh -oh. fact of the grenades, you know. I'm, if I'm Nico right now, I'm scared. You don't have access to Smash Art, so you're not going to be able to get any early kills against the Snake. Yeah, because Fair doesn't knock him off. A Cypher doesn't do the 8% you need. Fourth throw, not going to blow it up either. Oh, up air? Okay, almost. Okay, but does find a forwarder. He's keeping him up on his platform. You know he can't quite find a KO. He's at least putting on some sizable percent. But for yeah. how much longer? The name of this game is taking stocks, man. That yeah. percent doesn't mean anything so far. I like that shield art switch, but again, down throw, up tilt, looming, down throw, F tilt. If it works on Shulk, I still don't know. I think it does because he went for a grab. Uh, is going to be online now. This is so scary for Nico, but the F tilt, is that going to kill? Yes, it is. Takes a game. I think he looked surprised. He was like, wow, I didn't expect that to kill. Two F tilt kills that game. Yeah, I, I think the first one he was in Smash Art, so at that time he was jumped. I like 135, and Kalos has big blast zones, I'm pretty sure, so uh, I'm honestly surprised. It was but fresh. It was probably fresh, so he hasn't really yeah, used probably. it at all. Especially because uh, hitting shields does stay your moves in this game, so you can get other moves fresh very quickly by just spamming your safe moves on shield, or safer moves on shield. Yep. And so he's showing a little bit of life. I mean, I know he did take MVD Game 5 uh, at like a Vegas local when they were both there. I think Nico was there for his birthday. MVD was there visiting uh, the WBG fam, his, okay. his new team. So uh, going to take Stadium is Nico. So like he has experience in this matchup, but is it going to matter? 38% already on to Salem. Yeah, a pretty strong opening, man, just eight seconds in. I mean, I, I think, you know, you asking about signs of life. I think he's definitely oh. shown it here. As you see, another up special 
right out of shield here in this game. He did that a lot versus uh, Muffin from Mars in the last game, but yeah, it's really good. This year is a completely different opponent. Oh my God! Watch yourself. Yeah, and Nico almost got him to about 100%. Speaking of 100, that we did get a $100 donation from Unholy, so thank you so much again. All of the donations do go to Goodwill. But speaking of going, Nico is going so deep off stage to try to get these edge guards, get the back air, and he's not gonna. Oh no, he is gonna die because Jump Bar oh, ran out. Oh. So he didn't get his hive and uppy. That's tragic. Oh my goodness. But at least it sent the message and it let him know that, look, you're not gonna be able to hang out off stage for free like you do versus other opponents. I'm That's gonna true. come get you, sir. Ooh, run up jab, super good by Jalen. Uh huh. Off stage, gets the back air. Drop a grenade. Yep. Amadeus, thank you, my friend. Donated five dollars. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere in the he's in the venue. right there. Is he? Yeah. And again, we have a relatively even game back. They're gonna do 15. No F smash for Salem, but uh, Nico gonna have to air dodge, and then Salem getting punished with the dash attack. Another one to put him back on stage. Tried to get a back air immediately. Uh, you can do the thing where like you drop the grenade and then uh, with shield, and then you jump in back air, see so you pick up the grenade as well. Makes it safer. Oh, what's he about to do with it? Back throw. I'm gonna lay him down. Read which way he goes. Tries to go for the first hit of Force Hill just oh. in case. Gets the parry and again. That, like I knew parry up tip was gonna be crazy when I seen it in like the Twitter combos yeah. before oh like the god. game came out. I was like, oh my god. As soon as I saw Parry and Snake was in the game, I'm like, oh parry up tilt. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. The worst timeline ever. Yeah, and Cypher is so hard to break, like make it explode. So uh, Snake a lot of times if he recovers low, if you're not already off stage, he will have that hitbox to protect him. Oh. Another dash attack, nice. Oh, I love that back air. And the off-stage presence here from Salem has just been so good throughout the course of this match, man. Just being able to position yourself so properly at the ledge every time to try to get forward smash threes like what we seen there a moment ago. Yeah. But sometimes something as simplistic as Nikita, aka the best move in the game. Yeah, the back air, Nikita, the grenade pressure, up smashes. There's so much that Snake has access to for ledge trapping and edge guarding, surprisingly. Uh, okay, so we didn't go for down throw, although uh, he there was a grenade there, so down throw Epsil wouldn't have been able to connect anyway, not enough time. Wait a minute. Oh, good stuff. Okay, gets him again with the backer. This time he switched over to the jump. And like I said oh, before, he is not going to allow him to cipher around for free anymore. He, just, he has to contest. I think only fresh forward air actually uh, knocks him out of cipher. So kind of good that he didn't have it stale there. But again, Nico is at that 160%. A grab will be a stock. And oh. F-tilt will be a stock. A oh. will be a stock, but he is... Kind of racking on the damage, 47% on Salem. He's just waiting on the ledge to try to just wait out this uh, buster as long as possible. I love like that RP oh activation. My. Is he going to get a kill? Oh, With like, oh, oh you it. knew he was going to air dodge. Yeah. You knew he was going to air dodge. That's that's a landing there. That's a fall down fast fall, like up here or something. Man. That you was had like, to know. Yeah, that was, wow. That was a mean turn of events right there from Nico. He was certainly cooking with the right grease. Wow. He was playing very well. That comeback was nice, but again, yeah. being at that that scary like 157 when you know a couple fumbles is gonna get you into down throw up tilt, that is extreme danger mode versus Snake. But then Nikita back air, especially because the dude got buffed because thanks Sakurai, uh, you know, just so, pretty much every move that Snake has is going to kill at 160. Yes. So you have to be incredibly careful. No DSR in this rule set. Salem still not banning Halo, so weak on back. All right, now there is one more game potentially on the line here for Nico. He can figure out how to turn this thing around, or if not, he's gonna unfortunately not be able to move on. Ooh, nice throw, hop there. Yeah, these nares are stuffing Nico out a lot. Down throw into the grenade. Well, oh, good activation into shield in that hit because that would have been a grenade nair combo or something like that for uh, Salem. But now he's in disadvantage. But again, Shulk not a character that can really punish him. You don't even see Salem landing with grenades. He's like landing with beer versus an air dodge basically every time. I will say that of all the arts that Nico really gets the most mileage out of that I'm starting to notice here specifically, it's certainly Buster. When yeah. he goes over to Buster, that's when he just goes ham. Yeah, and I love that parry down tilt. Knowing that Nico wasn't quite close enough to get a, uh, a rather that Salem wasn't close enough to get a parry up tilt, so we went for that down tilt to see is, is the tilt with the most range, and Nikita's so strong, that was unteckable at like 110. Yep, see ya. Oh my, wait, has a grenade. Oh, I think he wanted to try to Z-drop it, but unfortunately he ended up clicking it just a little too long. Catches the dare off the parry. That was a really interesting interaction. You sell the parry, and you know if the move is multi, you can just shield up again. You try to get a dare out of shield, but it traded with the shield grab for, oh, why did he just do the barbarian slice? Which that's Snake's forwarder, by the way. Yeah. The best name ever. They're Free. just like... Free. Both of these two gentlemen are just playing on a different mind... Uh, playing in a different mind state right now. I mean, we've yeah. seen Dare out of shield a couple times from Nico, and I was like, wow, that's actually that's pretty interesting. Hot option, yeah. yeah. But just slowly trailing more and more and more behind Salem at 100%. No jump on Nico. He just went off stage with an air to try to end that stock. That was super greedy by him, but again, not punished. Has the tape control. Grenades up. C4's up. Randomly doing four airs in neutral. 
Oh, the B reverse, smart man. Gets off the platform, gonna throw, throw him backwards. Interesting, Kato's actually gonna try to lay him down and go for like a tech read. The grenades covered the sweet spot because of Nico. Nico had to up B backwards, otherwise the sword would smack the grenade. But so he's able to get that back air basically, the back air attack basically for free. And he, yeah. No oh. jump on Salem, didn't want to up because he would have got smacked out probably. So he tried to go for a grenade explosion, but again, did not have enough time to fall. So now Nico ended up getting the first stock, but. How much, how much of a comeback is going to have to make on that giant foot, the anti-air? One of the best, if not the best, anti-air in the entire game. That's right. That's the, that's the pity of get out of my airspace, sir. Basically. No fly zone. Yeah, this is a no fly, no landing zone, no nothing zone. Oh, oh wait. Okay, there. Smart man goes for another up special right out of shit. I seem to be his calling here, man. He's been getting so much off of that, but he's going to get a, getting a lot here. He switched over into the oh. Buster Art again, but he's getting so greedy. One Sailor? more? Yes. One more. Salem capitalized on all that Nico Green. Again, the fast air dodge up tilt because Smash Art, he went to 90 rod because Smash Art does increase the amount of knockback you take as well. So Salem is the victor of the Last Chance Qualifier. We are going to be seeing him later tonight and tomorrow. Uh, tonight in the Draft Cruise as well as I think we do pools uh, tonight. I'm I pretty sure. So, so uh, that is that. Nico unfortunately getting second. Salem kind of came out of nowhere. I don't even think anyone knew he was coming. I just kind of saw him today and I was like, oh, sup Salem. Like, I didn't know you were here. He's like, yeah, man, I'm going to win. It's like, okay, you got it. You and got that's it, not making fun of me. He's just, he just has a squeaky voice. Like, yeah. I'm trying to impersonate him. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, I'm not. No tea, no shade. No tea, no shade, okay? No tea, no shade. No tea, no shade. He did bless no me on Twitter. <laughs> no tea, no shade. No, yeah, but yeah, this has uh, definitely been a, quite the ride, if I may say so myself. You know, we got to watch some charades earlier. I'm charades to smash fun. ultimate action. Yeah. Some, oh, we passed 2,000. Cool. Did we? Oh, wait. Where, where are we at? Oh, 2,111. 2,111. Let's and again, go. and a lot of the little ones, um, like the duelist and the day-to-day -day run and all those type of things, people are like, oh, the losing people have to like put like five or ten bucks like to do to charity. Because again, fair. all of these things do benefit goodwill of OC, as you guys have been hearing earlier. Uh, they, have, they have so many amazing programs, and they have like so many services that just provide for the community as well as obviously the thing that most people know with goodwill is just like the clothing part, uh, where like they pretty much like take clothing from people that don't want it anymore and then try to like resell it or to like auction it or to give it to people that are less fortunate. They because like lower price, um, but then they do have a but, bunch of other services as well. Mm -hmm. They have um, things with like technology for people that are hard to or like unable to communicate or have a lot of trouble communicating. That was one that I saw. Yeah. Uh, I did get pulled out early because I had to go talk to the kids, so yes. I don't know all of them. But uh, right. do you remember uh, some other programs? Uh, there was that. There was also uh, physical rehabilitation centers, which is uh, uh, I 